My name is Scott Ackerman, and I'm a radiation oncologist in Jacksonville, Florida. A lot of patients come to me, and they ask about radiation therapy treatments, and they want to know, should they be treated with radiation or chemotherapy for their cancer? And most people think that if you get one, you don't need the other. So if you get radiation, you don't need chemo. Or if you get chemotherapy, you won't need radiation. The truth is that the decisions are really independent of each other. That whether or not you need radiation is, is frequently independent of whether or not you need chemo. And whether or not you need chemo is an independent decision as to whether or not you need radiation. For instance, in breast cancer, if a woman has a lumpectomy, she needs to have radiation therapy treatments after that lumpectomy. She may also need chemotherapy. And the decision whether or not to do chemotherapy has nothing to do with the fact that she's getting radiation. The decision's based on the size of the tumor, with the lymph nodes involved, and the such. So those are two separate and independent decisions. Now, sometimes we want to use radiotherapy and chemotherapy together because the chemotherapy, when it goes in the body, sometimes acts twofold. One, it kills cancer cells wherever they might be in the body. And number two, it sensitizes the tumor that is going to be radiated to the radiation. So if we have a patient with a rectal cancer, for instance, we like to give them chemotherapy with the radiation because it makes the rectal tumor shrink much more quickly than with radiation alone, and certainly more than if the patient was getting just chemotherapy alone. So, again, to reiterate, the chemotherapy decision is based on whether or not there's potential for cancer to be in other parts of the body, and you're giving chemotherapy to go all throughout the body to attack the cancer. The radiation therapy decision is based on shrinking and treating the tumor in the area where the cancer is known to be.